Now, because this is usually just done by gravity pushing, if you have more solvent in the column, obviously the elution will be faster and we do need more solvent. However, if this is colored here, the color is due to our sample. If there is color, that means there is still some sample there. You do not want to add a whole lot of solvent. You want to continue to add a little bit of solvent at a time till you see no color at all in the layer above the sand. Okay, so we will continue to add several drops of so uh, solvent at, at a time till the entire layer here above the sand becomes colorless. It is getting lighter as you notice. Also what else do you notice? You notice that there is a yellow band, there is an orange band and I will talk about this some of the orange sample that we have there after I add few more drops of the solvent because I do not want this to run dry as we call it. Okay. So you may be concerned that there is some sample stuck onto the sand. That is the more polar material which appears as the orange color here anyway. So do not be too concerned thinking that oh no my sample did not go on to the column. Once we start eluting this with more polar solvents that will automatically go down. If there was any less polar component that is this yellow colored component in here, it would have been washed down. So do not be concerned about it. This is what I meant by that it should be colorless. Now that this layer above the sand is colorless, we can fill the column with the solvent of our choice. Remember we are using three different solvents. First we are going to use pure hexane to collect the yellow band. Then we are going to change to more polar solvents to collect the orange band. So right now what I want is to be filling this with hexane. And when do we start collecting fraction 1? what will be in fraction 1 is the question. Fraction 1 will contain this yellow colored sample. So we want to start collecting fraction 1 when the yellow band is about a centimeter or centimeter and a half above this sand level. So even if you think it has not reached all the way here, so the yellow component is not running out of the column, that may not be the case usually the shape of the column inside would be like a vortex. Your yellow band may be like V shaped inside the column. So you may not see that V cone apex inside the column. That is the reason why we start collecting the fraction when the band is about a centimeter and a half above the glass wool or the sand. Also, because yellow band is the first fraction that is coming out, even if I start collecting the fraction a little sooner than desired, there is no harm done because there is nothing coming out at this stage except for pure hexane. So we will not be mixing this component with anything if we start collecting a little sooner. So I switched to beaker 1 as I said when it was about a centimeter and a half away from this sand layer. Notice as I mentioned before, even though you think the thicker yellow band is here, the solution or the LU end that is coming out of the column is already yellow. So that is the reason why you want to start collecting from before the band actually reaches the sand layer. So in the meantime, keep filling it with hexane because we will collect all of our first fraction with the non-polar solvent hexane. Remember alumina is polar. So the strongly polar component of the two will stay on alumina for longer. The less polar component, this yellow colored, I am not going to mention which that is, that is for you to figure out, will come out of the column sooner than the orange band. You also notice that there is a nice white separation between the yellow band and the orange band. That should already tell me that the separation is pretty successful because after we get the yellow band, 
there will not be anything coming for a little while and then when we change the solvent to more polar solvent, the orange component will start to come out. So, this is going well, we will keep this filled. I am applying some air pressure. We will wait for all the yellow to come out before we change the collecting flask to beaker 2. Beaker 2 will be for the white band or the intermediate fraction. And by the way, applying air pressure like this to do column chromatography is called flash column chromatography. So I'm going to fill it again with hexane. I'll continue to fill with hexane only till we get all of the less polar component out of the column. 